हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल सी हाउ टू राइट द फेसिंग टेपर टर्निंग एंड ग्रोइंग प्रोग्राम ऑन सी एन सी लेथ सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच माय वीडियो ऑन स्टेप्स टू राइट द प्रोग्राम फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो ह्यूर दिस इज द जॉब विच हैज टू बी परफॉर्म सो वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ प्रोग्राम to machine the work piece as shown in the figure on this cnc lathe uh, for that first of all before writing the programs we have to understand the various coordinate system right now so along the length of the job we are always considering the z axis and along the diameter of the component we are considering the x axis now when the tool move away from the face of the component in that case you have to consider the plus coordinate and when the tool moves away from the or i can say towards the left side or towards the spindle at that time your coordinates will be a minus along that z axis in the same way when we are considering the diameter when the tool moves away from the operator in that case we have to consider the plus coordinate and when the tool moves towards the operator at that times uh, your coordinates will be a minus so this is very uh, important while writing the program uh, first of all what are the operations we have to uh, perform on the job uh, here there will be a facing operations then there will be a taper turning operation growing operations and again this will be a plane turning operations but the sequencing of the operation is very important um, so first we'll see the coordinates of this uh, program now a is the home positions uh, then the next is the coordinate b a home position means the tool will always remain at its uh, reference point and from that the tool will move to the coordinate point b so what will be the coordinate here for the b here the x will be the zero and z you can see this gap here so i will bring the tool just nearer to the face of the component right and at the time this distance to which i consider plus to here this gap okay we can consider one also two also five also it means that i am bringing the tool near to the face of the component why it is plus 2 because the uh, the tool is uh, just uh, on the right side of this face of the component then the coordinates of the c so tool at this position the coordinates will be 0 0 after that you can see the coordinates means i am moving the tool from c to d that at that time my coordinates will be x50 and z0 why it is x50 always put a diametrical value of the component in the x so here how much is the diameter here it is a 50 so i put the 50 and z will be 0 as it is along this face then next my coordinates will be a uh, e coordinates now e coordinate means d to tool will move towards the e okay so in that case how much is the diameter diameter is 50 and length is minus 80 see 40 plus 10 plus 10 plus 20 that will be a 80 and why i am putting the minus 80 because tool is moving towards the left side from this face okay so that's why it is a minus 80 after that means i had done the facing and the just plane turning and after that i'm bringing the tool again uh, for the safer side at f position this is the f here okay so at that time just uh, I, i put a uh, diameter uh, greater than the 50 just i put a 55 and z0 so the tool will be somewhere as here now after that my coordinates g coordinates means the, i'm bringing the tool at this position g at that time how much is this g i am putting the 10 how i am getting this 10 because the diameter of this at this position this okay 
at this the diameter is 10 that's why i'm putting the x as a 10 and z will be again 0 as the tool will be on this face next one h so here when g to h will be naturally the taper turning operation will takes place h at the time what is my coordinate x is my 50 means i'm putting a diametrical value okay so 50 and z minus 20 F means from this to this position you know that your diameter uh, your length will be a uh, 20 so you know that now minus 20 means towards the left side your tool will move after that i i coordinates again my x will be your 50 and z will be minus 30 so 20 plus 10 will be minus 30 after that my next coordinates will be the j you can see here means i am doing going for the green operation it means that j how much is the diameter you can see that my diameter this diameter is 45 so i put the 45 and z will be minus 30 because tool is coming at this position after that k okay so here the, how much is the coordinates of the k k diameter is same 45 and z is 20 plus 10 plus 10 okay that will be a 40 okay that will be my minus 40 after doing this again the tool will i'm just but when you are doing the green operations i have to use the other tool huh? so i will show you in the programming uh, after that just tool will move away from the component that is my l you can i have taken the 60 you can take the more than 50 should be there because job size is 50 you can take the 55 or 60 or 65 and uh, and uh, along the z axis you can take i have taken the minus 40 there okay you can take the minus 50 also okay and at the last again the tool will move to its home position again now whenever you are writing the programs first we are putting the program number so in the program o we are writing the program number one two three four you can give the any numbers there from uh, one to uh, nine 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 means four times nine okay now any program is first of all uh, divided into three parts i can say means structure of part is divided into three parts i'll tell you during the programs that but this is the first part of that which is called as a startup program which will be common to almost all the programs or all the jobs okay so here n10 i am writing so n10 g40 g80 g40 when i am writing it is the cutter radius compensation cancel and g80 is the can cycle cancel after that n block number n20 g28 u0 w0 it means that so your uh, g28 indicates the tool home position uh, it means that the tool automatically returned to its reference point then the block number n30 that is the g90 g94 and g21 g90 will indicate the absolute positioning system okay and g94 this one will indicate the feed rate uh, in the mm per minute okay it means that distance traveled by the tool over the workpiece in one minute then g21 will indicates you the uh, i'm writing the program in the metric system you can see all these dimensions are in the mm okay then the next block is my n40 m06 will be the tool change so means whatever the tool will be required according to the operations so here i taken the tool number one and zero one tool number t01 means the tool number one and zero one here again uh, when we are writing the um, basically the operations uh, like uh, we can say tool offset right now so tool offset is given to the every tool then the n50 m03 miss spindle start in the clockwise direction s will be the speed speed of that spindle so at 1200 rpm that uh, spindle will rotate and the feed rate 200 means it is mm per minute because g94 you have given that is a feed rate in mm per minute and n60 will be my block number uh, that is a uh, m rate will be the coolant on 
and don't forget to write the end of block or a semicolon this will indicate the end of block okay this first part which you have seen in the from n10 to n60 which will be common to almost all the jobs uh, that will be called as a start of program and your next part will will be the profile of the component means this is the very profile which you have to generate okay so that is your second part of that and it start from n70 g00 x0 z02 it means that from the home position the tool is moving towards the b g00 indicates the rapid movement of the tool as there is no cutting action between the tool and the workpiece we can uh, move the tool at a very fast rate uh, and i have put the coordinates of this b b coordinate how much is the b coordinate you can see x0 z plus 2 so this is the coordinates after that my next block will be an 80 g0 b to c it moves slowly i'm moving the tools okay that is called as a when you are talking about the g01 it is a linear interpolation okay and z0 again i'm putting the coordinates of c how much is the c coordinate 0 0 so x0 z0 you can write or only because in the previous block it is already the x0 is there so i'm not writing repetitively okay i'm avoiding to write the repetitive parts of that after that my next block will be n90 you can see n90 x50 see the tool is moving from c to d when it moves from c to d the facing operation will take place Okay, how much is the diameter? X will be my X will be 50 and Z will be 0. Okay, you can see here Z0. So again, I, again, I'm not writing the Z0 here. Okay, no need to write the repetitively because in the previous block, again, it is a Z0. After that, my next block will be the 100. So here you can see the block uh, tool is moving from D to E. So how much is the length? Uh, already given that uh, in this case, the diameter is 50 and z is minus 80 okay after that next one i just shown that eob actually semicolon or a, this is way you can write a semicolon or an end of block both are right then n 110 g 0 0 x 55 z 0 see from e to f when it moves, I'm, I'm putting the G00 because rapidly I want to move the tool because there is no cutting action, right? And the coordinates you have already given. After that, see my next coordinates will be the, you can see here the, your N120 means, I have given the G01 means from F means here I show the F here also I'm showing the F means in the first case facing and plane turning you are done now you have to go for the tapper turning this one so I am bringing the tool from F to G so how much is my G coordinate you can see G will be the uh, X10 Z0 so see X10 Z0 and feed rate I am giving the uh, as it is even if you don't write the feed rate here because the same feed rates are there so you can keep the same feed rate there then after this i have to go for the tapper turning you can see my block now g01 again we are moving the linear interpolation right now so tool will move from g to h so what is my h coordinates here x 50 z minus 20 means here this material means you can see this uh, light blue which we are observing here it will get removed so tapper turning operation will take place after that again i'll move to the next block n140 g00 x50 z minus 30 means i'm moving the tool from h to i right now so what is my i coordinates you can see x50 z minus 30 end of block so this is a it means that these coordinates are very important and the path to be flow path uh, path movement of the tool is very important the two things are very important there after that g28 end of block with g28 u0 w0 means uh, i'm just again uh, sending my tool to the home position because here i want to change the tool 
So the tool which you are using for the facing and the turning or a plane turning or a taper turning, we are not using for the growing operations. This is a growing operations we have to do. Okay. Now you have to change the tool. So as you can see here, M06, T02. I had taken the other tool that is a growing tool whose width will be a 10. Okay. So that type of tools I'm calling now for that growing operations. So at that time, again, G01. Okay. What is my X will be of 45, right? And uh, Z will be minus 30. Means, see here, this is the J. Means I to J, the tool will move from I to J. So if you see the J coordinates, my friend here, I'm writing so these coordinates, which I'm showing here, J, you can observe the X 45. So this diameter will be my 45 right now. So X 45, you can see here also. J 45 and Z will be minus 30. Z will be minus 30. 20 plus 30 is equal to minus 30 there, right? Okay. After that, next block will be by N180, G01, Z minus 40. Means J to K. K is how much is the distance here? 20 plus 10 plus 10. That will be a 40. And why it is minus 40? Because you know very well now. So we are moving the tool towards the left side. And the feed rate, I have given the same feed rate there. Okay. And after that, the next block will be G00, X minus 40, Z50. Means this position. Means I'm moving the tool away from the component. Right now. And next will be the, I'm sending the tool away from the, far away from the components. And your next, see, all this, I, I already told you that any program is divided into three parts. Okay. This is the first part, no? Right. And this, when you're talking about this first part, it, it is called as a startup program. And this yellow, which you are indicating, it is called as a profile of the component. And the last one that is called as a end of program, these blocks, which you are observing. I will explain you this. N200, G28, U0, W0 means you are sending the tool to its home position. Block number 210, M05. It means that whatever the spindle, you have, you have start the spindle here, okay, in the clockwise direction. Now we are stopping it. M09, coolant off. Here, coolant on, you are done. As M09, the coolant will get off. And the last will be the M30. When you are talking about the M30, what it means? We know that the program will get end and tape rewind. It means that the after doing the cursor will move to the first block. Okay. It means that your machine is ready for the new job so that without wasting your time, you can start the new job. So thank you friends.